Bahana, we will build it. Olam Chasari Bahana, we will build this world from love. Bahana, we will build it. Booker Tov, good morning and welcome to today's Elul Soul Brew. Curated voices from around the world, bringing you on a journey of introspection and inspiration leading up to the high holidays. I'm Rabbi Bluth, host and producer of the Soul Brews with the Beth Zedek Center for Spiritual Wellbeing. Today, we're gonna jump to Yerushalayim, to the old city, to the holy city of Jerusalem. We're gonna hear from dear Kalman and Batya, two wonderful friends of mine. Kalman is a Sofer, he's a scribe who works in the old city of Jerusalem, a wonderful artist. And Batya is a new Ima, a new mother and a total dreamer. We're gonna hear some words and ideas from them and I'm so excited to get a little taste of Yerushalayim this morning, a little taste of Jerusalem. So Kalman and Batya, dear friends, leading up to the high holidays, tell us, what are your souls brewing? Hey, good morning everybody from Jerusalem. Leading up to the high holidays, our souls are brewing. My name's Kalman. This is my beautiful wife, Batya. Hello. And together, we're going to share with you a morning brew. You ready? Yeah. All right. All right. So the Parsha that I just read is Deuteronomy chapter 9, Parsha Ekev. Um, but I see a certain verse, an idea connected to the month of Elul, the month of Teshuvah, the month of returning. Ani ledodi vedodi li. I am my beloved, and my beloved is to me. Hamelech basadeh. The king is in the field, meaning that God comes down to greet us, to work with us, and we get to invite Him into our lives in a new way, which is hopefully qualitatively new to us. We get to know the Master of the World a little bit more. Now, in this week's, uh, <laughs> in the Parsha of Akev, um, Moses is recounting to the Jews the story of the last 40 years in the desert, and it's a beautiful narrative. One powerful idea I heard is that Moses is recounting going up to the mountain, and he says the mountain was completely on fire. The mountain was Kulo Ba'esh, which is a big, massive fire. And when Moses goes down, we know the story, the Jews had the the golden calf, and Moses threw down the tablets and prayed that the Jews should be able to return to God. It actually happened during this time, because when Moses returns with the second tablets, it's at Yom Kippur. But one beautiful thing is it says, Moses, he ground up the golden calf. He ground it up, and it says, quote, in chapter 9, verse 21 it's of Deuteronomy, it says, and the sin that you made, the calf, I took and burnt it in fire. I crushed it, thoroughly grinding it until it was fine to dust. And I threw its dust into the stream that was flowing down from the mountain. And it's a powerful verse. And Moses very much chooses his words um, pretty tightly in these, these verses. And I was amazed by it. it said he threw the dust of the golden calf into the stream that was flowing down from the mountain. Um, my question was, wait a second, the mountain was just a big ball of fire. Where is there a stream? Have we ever seen a stream come out of a, out of a furnace, out of an inferno? It doesn't make sense. What is that? I was thinking maybe it can connect to Elul and this idea of love with fire and love through water. Fire is the, the fire of creation, of making, but it's also the fire of burning, of destruction. It's so, so powerful. And so is water. But where God on top of the mountain is a flame and fire running off the mountains is the stream, the water, the life. Water is what gives this world life and existence. When God says, you know what? Maybe those first tablets had to be broken. Maybe man in his nature has this idea and he wants to go towards whatever this golden calf represents. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let water go down, flow off of the mountain and go to the people to revive them, to give them new existence and to really help them in trying times. So I want to bless y'all with your brew. This is my morning brew. Yeah, and over so to fun. my beautiful wife, Batya. 
Wow, thank you. What amazing um, visuals um, I was having as you were talking in and giving over that beautiful piece. Um, so for me, I really relate to the month of Elul and I find so much inspiration in the month of Elul. And, and for me, the whole month of Elul is a soul brew and a, a really uh, nice, strong um, start off for the for the year. And um, the fact of Ani Levi Dodi Lee, about um, I am my beloved and my beloved is mine and the relationship, it reminds me of um, me coming to Judaism as a convert and, and me coming just out of uh, wanting that relationship and wanting to have that love um, of God and that awareness um, in my life and starting out. Um, here I have a picture of a little uh, Rimonim and it says Ani Li Bidodi Li that my husband made. Ani Li Dodi Bidodi Li. Yes, here. I am to my beloved and my beloved is to me. And for me, I really relate to this picture and the quote because my journey into Judaism was not easy and it, I feel like it was, you know, coming from such a, a place of constriction in terms of like um, being, being new into the Jewish community and, and trying to find my let's say ground or soil where I can be planted and, and to grow. And um, pomegranates, they, they grow on a beautiful tree and it starts, it starts off as a little flower and the flower becomes a fruit. And I really relate that to our relationship with uh, God um, as in if we, if we nourish um, our roots and we nourish our, um, the ground that we are trying to build, whether that is through prayer, meditation, um, singing, dancing, making art. Um, we nourish those parts of our soul to to hopefully um, bring about flowers and, and then hopefully bring about fruit. So really for me, I want to bless everyone that these videos and these soul brews that you're taking in and sipping up are like nourishment for your soul in the month of Elul, the month of love and relationships and that we um, build strong love and, and relationships in this month with ourselves, with um, Hashem, God, and with our family and our loved ones and that all of the work that we put into it can become beautiful flowers and fruits to blossom and nourish us throughout the year. So uh, happy new year to everyone and have a beautiful, beautiful month of Elul. Amen. Oh, and if you want to be in contact with us, you can find my husband on Instagram at the Jerusalem scribe and me on Instagram at memoirs of a dreamer. Thank you guys so much for your time. We will fill this world from love. Even now.